Tom Jr. with Keystone RV Center. Today we're inside of a Salem travel trailer. We're going to talk briefly about these Whirlpool fridges. This is the residential upgrade that's available in these. Give us a call if you have any further questions about this trailer, 1-800-232-3279. Feel free to ask for me. I'll be able to help you guys as well. The Whirlpool fridges are the new 110 fridges. Oh, look at that, a wonderful monster. I wonder who put that there. So the great thing about it is just the storage size. Um, we're over 10 cubic foot in this, we're almost 11. That being said, there are a couple of things you need to know about this. We'll go cover at the back end of the video on how to turn the inverter on and off so you're running off your batteries while you're going down the road. Now your truck is going to charge the batteries as long as the charge line's hooked up, which if you have us do the hitch work, we'll make sure that's taken care of. Truck's gonna charge the batteries. The batteries are gonna power the inverter, not the converter. Inverters take a 12 volt and go to 110. Converters take 110 and go down to 12 volt. Hope I didn't lose you yet. I lost me already. So, truck's going to charge the batteries. Batteries are gonna power the inverter. Fridge is running while we're going down the road. Now, when we shut our truck off, we're still got a pretty good charge on the batteries. Here at Keystone, if it has a residential fridge and has an inverter, we put two 12 volt deep cycle batteries on there. Quick note, Forest River does not want people using six volts anymore. You're not gaining as much as you used to, and it can create electrical issues down the line. So they are not covering units with dual six volts anymore. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, stay with the dual 12s. If you're really, really wanting to get more battery power, talk to Big John in parts about going to an AGM style battery, all glass mat. Um, that'll get you a little bit better performance, but let's be honest, I want AC, so I'm not dry camping anymore. Now, for travel, it does come with this threaded screw here. What we're gonna do, close our kitchen drawers. We're gonna line this up with the pre-made hole, and we're just going to screw this in, latch it into place. Now, when we get back, what I'm gonna tell you to do is leave this screwed in, okay? And just put a small little piece of uh, painter's a stir stick right in here, tighten it up. That way it leaves a little bit of an air gap once you are home and you are trying to defrost this refrigerator. Aside from that, temperature adjustment up here, temperature adjustment is down here. Set it where you want it. Um, as far as storage for this, a lot of times we keep them in the drawers over here. You can keep them in the refrigerator wherever you please. But it's gonna be just like camping with your fridge from the house, aside from having to turn on the inverter. Let's go take a look at that now. All right, guys, so in the front storage compartment on this 27 REI is where the inverter is located. Okay, now that's going to be the same for most of our Salem travel trailers. If you're watching this video for a different floor plan from Salem or even a different model for manufacturer, just locate your inverter. Um, your dealer should have shown it you where it was. On this particular one, we have a little power button. And now we're not plugged into 110 right now, so when we turn it on, it's gonna fire up, give us our computer screen right here, and it's gonna say, what I'm reading is, it's going off of battery power, and it's saying battery mode. So that's what we're working off of right now. Now, we did talk to the factory rep. Thanks, Frank, I appreciate the quick info. You can leave it plugged in. We do recommend shutting it off, but if you forget, it's not gonna set the trailer on fire or anything like that. Now. Mark, give me 12 seconds. I'm gonna plug us back in real quick and you're gonna see this change screens. So I don't know if you can read this, Mark, but now we are already switching over. It's firing up and it is knowing that we've got 110 volts coming in and we're gonna see this go from battery mode to AC mode. So that's how you know, there it did, just switch, now we're on AC mode. So, it'll switch over automatically. At this point, I can go ahead and shut it off if I'm smart enough to remember to turn it back on for travel. If not, just leave it on, not gonna hurt anything. Guys, any other questions on these trailers, give us a buzz, shoot us an email. My name's Junior at Keystone RV Center, 1-800-232-3279. Have a great day.